So Rex Alexander here at Goshen, Indiana, Goshen Municipal Airport for Aero News Network for Rotors and Ribs. Uh, with me today is uh, Randy Sharkey. Randy, what uh, what is Rotors and Ribs, and how long have you guys been doing this? Hey, Rex, uh, welcome. It's it's great to have you in Goshen, Indiana. Rotors and Ribs has become one of the largest helicopter fly-ins in the country. How long? I think this is our seventh year here at the Goshen Airport, and it has been going great. We're just so thrilled for all of the support we've gotten, for all of the participation. We're just really hoping for, you know, somewhere between uh, 30 and 50 helicopters today, Rex. That's fantastic. Yeah, we have them flying in already. It's great to see them coming in early. So one of the things you're attempting to do today is actually set a record. Tell me a little bit about that. It is. It's something that we've been thinking about. What can we do to attract helicopter pilots to come to this event besides feeding them ribs? You know, that's a big deal. So we have what we are going to do today is attempt the Guinness Book of World Records. And it's a brand new category, and that category is the most helicopters in a hover flight at one time. Now, again, there is not a current record. This would be a new one. And we've been talking to Guinness, and they've told us get as much video as you can, drone shots, ground shots. And if it's deemed impressive enough, we will make a new category. So we're hoping to have at least 30 participants, and we're going to do that Guinness attempt tonight at about 8.15. That's fantastic, and this is the seventh time, so I'm assuming you're going to have an eighth time probably next year? Oh, absolutely. This, this Rotors and Ribs has become so popular. Uh, we're thrilled to have HAI on board with us this year. They are one of the major sponsors. They've been the one driving this so hard this year because they don't have an HAI show anywhere in the Midwest. They have come to us and said, hey, we've seen what you guys have done with Rotors and Ribs can we make this somewhat of an offspring of HAI? So that's what we've done besides the Guinness attempt tonight. We also have educational experiences and we have four seminars. A lot going on today. We're open for, I don't know, three, 4,000 people today. I may want to mention tonight for the very first time ever in this area is a light drone show. And it's 175 drones It's being produced by Sky Elements. And they do this at a lot of large events. And uh, so at 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to have a drone show. And for the very first time ever, we are super excited about it. Following the drones will be a fireworks show. It's all part of Rotors and Ribs. Fantastic. And we have uh, people down here giving some helicopter rides on top of that as well, right? We do. We have the Sky Soldiers. Uh, they're from Atlanta. That is the Army Aviation Heritage Foundation. They have always been supportive of what we're trying to do. So they've, they've come today with two UEs and a Cobra helicopter, and they're offering rides all day long. Fantastic. Well, there's uh, definitely something for everybody. If you're a helicopter pilot and you're not here this year, definitely put this on your calendar for next year. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com.